Okay, let's let's call to order the February meeting of the Conover Human Resources Board. Present are Diane Doyle, Mark Blackman, John Ferrara, Anthony Antico, Lynn Chatty. Thank you all. Uh, Chief Lucy should be joining us momentarily. We've got a text from him indicating he just wrapped up a meeting and will be with us. But in the essence of time, I know a couple of folks have some time limitations today. I'd like to get uh, moving along here. Let's first take an opportunity to uh, look at the, the minutes from the January 24th meeting. Has everyone had a chance to review those yet? Yes. Tony, have you? Yes, I, yeah. You had sent these out. I did. Early. Oh, yeah. yes. Uh -huh. so given that, is there a, uh, sorry. Sorry. is there a motion to approve the minutes of the January 24th meeting? I'll make the motion. Second. Is there a second? Any discussion? See no discussion. All in favor of accepting the minutes as written, say aye. 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 Thank you. Next, we have the minutes of the subcommittee meeting, which was held on Monday, February the 7th, sole purpose of which was to discuss late changes to the Town of Newbury's personnel policy language. Is there a motion to accept those minutes? Motion. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor of accepting those minutes as written, say aye. 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 Unanimous. Thank you all. Thank you, Diane. As always. Next order of business employee issues. We'll hold on that for just a moment. John Lucy should be with us momentarily here. Uh, personnel actions and job vacancies. Diane, anything new to report relative to open positions or positions that have been uh, filled in the last month? So I have one personnel action form for a new part-time uh, emergency communications position that John has alluded to that they're still looking for. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the one that we discussed, I think, briefly last month, right? Um, they filled one, perhaps, and there was one remaining? I think this might be the second one. Okay. Yep. So this person started February 8th, which oh, was after our last meeting. So I have that great. for you to sign. Okay. Take care um, of that. Other than that, I think we're good. Hey, Chief. Hey, sorry about that. No problem. Come join us. We've just we've just reviewed and accepted the minutes from the previous two meetings, and we are on to, uh, well, John, let me turn to you. Employee issues. Anything that uh, you should be aware of from the PD? Employee issues? No, no. Uh, no, nothing's pretty good. Okay. And in terms of job vacancies, Diane just confirmed that you've got somebody who's uh, yes. started in the past month. In the uh, yep. part time communications office position. She has, yeah. She came with a lot of experience, and we we're lucky for that. The training was already done, so Great. pretty much a plug and play. Good. We we're lucky. Now, does that bring you up to stuff for the moment? We're or? still looking for one full time um, communications we're, officer. Yeah, okay. yeah. But uh, we're much, much better off than we have been. We have, Great. A, we have a good bank of part time, so some flexibility there. Great. So we're in good shape that way. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Diane, anything else in town hall, library, relative to personal actions or job vacancies? Um, I know that the library director is going to retire at the end, end of April. Right. So there is some discussion about she's leaving and how they're going to fill that right. position. So um, that's... Yeah. I've had some preliminary uh, dialogue back and forth with a uh, member of their the library board of trustees relative to a job search and uh, I think they're moving that along but mm -hmm. not aware of anything new in that area. No. We're at the beginning of that process yeah. so. Okay great, thank you. Workplace ethics and or discrimination issues, nothing that I'm aware of. Has anything hit uh, either of your plates? Not a thing. Any employee reps? No? Diane, no? No. Safety issues. John, anything to report relative to COVID or in general? Nope. Uh, in general, nothing. Um, everything seems fine as, as it seems to trend all the time for us, which we're fortunate for. As far as the, uh, the COVID, I think a lot of people are getting very comfortable with that, right. to return to somewhat normalcy. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, uh, there's a lot of that uh, mm -hmm. blowing back that's happening. And, right. Uh, and it's so very, very, very are, are there currently any restrictions in place at Town no, Hall? No, but everything around business as usual. Business as, business as usual. Actually, in the state, you know, at the schools, everything, they even right. pulled the masks 
on the uh, school buses, which I was kind of surprised. You know, I mean, right. I just didn't. I you know, was kind of surprised. It seemed like they were really going to keep that. Right. But uh, the state has determined that's still a town by town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a district right? decision, right. town by town, is your know, school district is a district decision. Um, CDC has pulled back. The, the state seems to be running pretty parallel with what CDC is uh, mm -hmm. recommending or mandating, right. whatever the case may be. Okay. Um, so. Thank you. Yeah. And Diane, being in town hall every day, any issues that uh, you're aware of? No, I mean, smooth? we still have plexiglass with all the customer facing, but it's it's running pretty smooth. Okay. Any issues? Great. Thank you. Uh, under other business personnel policy update, just a uh, a small change of plans that I wanted to make everybody aware. Nothing that that will impact on this board. Uh, some of you may be aware of the fact that this was on the agenda for the select board meeting tomorrow, after we took our vote at the end of the subcommittee meeting. Uh, well, it was actually oh, last week, and then that got canceled. That got canceled, right? But it's on. Got it's on tomorrow's, week. yeah, tomorrow's agenda for the select board. And it came to our attention very late in the process that that as an HR board, we have done everything that we were required to do uh, to move this issue along, with one small exception, and that is uh, the the changes, the the edits and changes that were created, need to be. Published, not published, they need to be posted. posted in a prominent work location for five days for viewing for any employee or anybody who might be interested in reviewing it. And so that's the one thing that we need to do. And so, given that, um, that's was done as of today. Mm -hmm. Great. And so, the decision has been made to take it off of the select board's agenda for tomorrow night and move it move it back a week to their regularly scheduled next meeting, which is next Tuesday, at which point in time, hopefully, they will uh, make the decision to accept the changes that have been written, and it'll be a done deal. So, questions on that? Okay. Thank you again so for all your hard posted, work on it. It was posted downstairs in the town clerk. It was posted up here on the board as well. Right. Um, when I finish with this, I'm going to see if we can put it up on the website. Okay. Um, I'm wondering about the library. Is, is that? I mean, we are. When I publish tax title, I de, I usually do the post office because it's a, it's a public. Right. Um, there is a place at the library, although it's got hundreds of brochures, and I think if we put it on the website, I was also thinking of maybe. Okay. Just putting it up there. I was thinking more about the employee population. Yeah, if you're going to put on the website, maybe I suggest you just let the, the department heads know that they can make sure that their employees can refer to that. They know it's there. Right. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Okay. Email the department yeah. heads and say proposed changes are up on the human resources page. Right. The library, I mean, the library staff would see it there, but I think if we post it on the website with an email to all the department managers. Great idea. Um, Thank you both. Yeah. Yeah. Good. It was out of an abundance of caution to, to do the posting. I mean, we, we, we missed that in the bylaws. But right. I mentioned that both of the substantial changes were really legal requirements, legal changes, in terms of complying with state law as well as the change to the case precedent for retirement benefits. So both of these changes aren't really subject to a lot of discussion. But I think right. out of an abundance of caution, making sure that we dotted all the T's mm -hmm. and and a dot of the I's across the T's that we just move it back a week. Right. The, the, the existing bylaw that's in place, Chapter 22, which is the personnel bylaw, doesn't distinguish changes that are required by law or statute as opposed to changes that we may decide as a board or as a town would be appropriate. Uh, and because they don't distinguish one from the other, we made the decision to be safe rather than sorry. And let's go ahead and, and do the five-day posting, even though these, as Diane says, these are changes that are required by Massachusetts and or federal law. Uh, we really have no say in that matter. But nonetheless, um, you know, since uh, all the heavy lifting has been done, let's just take the five days, make sure it's posted properly according to our bylaw, and then let the select board vote on it in their regularly scheduled meeting next to a week from Tuesday. So. I have another question. Yep. So uh, I have the policies here. 
Do we do uh, dates on, on the policies? I don't see them. Like at the bottom of the policy reviewed or amended? Yes, so that was going to be my point. So what will happen is I ask the same question because a lot of the, um, did everyone get the final draft when I sent it to you? Did everyone get the final? With, the, with the creditable service uh, definition and the uh, overtime issue? I'll resend it out again. Okay. Um, so when I was discussing that with town council, I said, you know, there's still some some misalignment between the new changes and the and the index and to put a date on the front cover when it was amended. So, you know, yeah. um, originated on March 12, 2019, amended, and that was left off because we wanted to wait until they voted at the board of selectmen. Yep. So the okay. select board will adopt the changes. And from there, they're adopting the actual substantive changes. Right. It will go back to town council to put a date that it was a, a revised. And then they will go in and accept all of those changes that are in red and make sure that they align with the index right. and produce the final copy. So okay. the select board is, is basically approving the changes with the understanding that the final document would then be produced from the acceptance of the document. So I have a note to make sure that we put revised on the front. Right. Does that answer your question, Lynn? Yes. Okay. Thanks. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Any other questions on that, madam? Mm. Good. Okay. Uh, I'm not aware of any other old or new business that, have, that will come before us tonight. Um, has everyone completed the ethics training? Mm. Um, okay. So I'm just sorry, a reminder. I was supposed to remind That's you. That's okay. Just a Thank reminder you. to complete the ethics training. Um, there's, I believe, three documents. Did we get that squared away, Tony? There were three documents that need to be returned to the town clerk in the email. Did you get the email? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I, yeah, I haven't done it yet. So you have to do the training. You have to acknowledge that you received the, um, what is the, the, well, no, you have to do the training, which produces the certificate. You have to acknowledge that you got the um, material. The material, and then there's one other document that needs to be signed in the email. So, do we uh, have to print those out, or can we sign them on the computer? You can um, print them, scan them, and email them to the town clerk. Okay. Whatever is easiest for you. Okay. Yep. So just a reminder. And the good news is the the. Uh, the most time-consuming piece of that process, the actual uh, class itself, is an every other year project. So uh, for those of us who <laughs> did it last year, we, we were able to take the shortcut this year. So as a new member of the board and or anyone who hasn't done it in the past year, I'll take a deep breath. <laughs> yeah, I sent in all three of those units to Leslie. Good. Okay. Yeah, three weeks ago. So, so it, was the open meeting, it was the open meeting law information okay, right. that you had to acknowledge that you right. received. Right. What's the date that those need to be done by? And it's in the email. It's in the email. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I mean, it, we've got a ways. We've got we a ways, ways, but it's yeah. just little. And town clerk's office is very accommodating if there are any other questions you have relative to transmission of information or uh, access, whatever you need. So uh, thank you. And I will make sure we put that in the agenda every month just as a little, little yeah. tickle for everybody uh, so that it gets done. OK? Thank you for that time. Yep. Uh, if there's no other new business to address, we'll set the schedule for our next meeting on March 28th at 4 p.m. Does that work for everyone at this point? Any other issues? See no hands raised. I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second? Second. Any discussion? We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.